Have you ever wondered why strippers have two names? I love this extension cord, so let me show you how I made it. Now there are definitely some things you need to know about when making an extension cord, like what thickness gauge wire, what voltage you're gonna be doing. This obviously is a higher voltage 220 plug. Now the process really is about the same for a 110 plug, and sometimes you even need to do an adapter for like, let's say a welder. Lots of them have this where the welder can run on either 110 or 220. You just need to make sure that what you're running can handle both voltages if it is that case. The main purpose I'm going to be using this for is my welder. So because of that, I got picked up the three prong 50 amp style plug, both the male and female um, plug ends. Now this 50 amp plug, it's just a standard plug within welders. That's why I got it. If you notice dryers, so do washing machines. They have kind of their own prong style. It actually goes off of the amperage draw. So if you look up a chart, it's the, all of the different styles is the based off the amperage. The point is you need to make the extension cord based off of what amperage you're going to be running and the plug you obviously the machine has. Wire strippers like these are a must have and take note of the gauge wire because sometimes these smaller ones won't cut it. Have you ever wondered why strippers have two names? Better yet, two sets of numbers and they are offset by two. First of all, the first set is for solid and then the second one is STRD which is stranded. And what's the difference? Well, you do need to cut them differently, and that's because you got a solid is kind of like your Romex, yes, that's just the, the common Kleenex names, but it is a solid core or solid wire, copper wire, and then you have stranded, which have a lot of individual wires per lead. Looking up charts online for the correct wire gauge diameter per amp draw, almost every chart online will have three things. The wire gauge diameter running on a certain amperage, with a certain length of extension cord. So with my machine and length, I'm right in the range about eight to 10. Now I went with 10 because I had it. I found an awesome deal on it. So that's why I went with it. Now wiring up the 220 plug is actually simpler than doing a 110 volt. Doing a 110, one of the issues is their plugs are really small. And so you've got to just kind of, you have a lot less work, you have a lot less room to work with. Whereas these, you got plenty of room to cinch down your cable, to even maneuver and get the wires in there just right and tight. This three prong plug, this style three prong plug has three wires, three prongs, three wires. Two are gonna be hot, one's gonna be the ground. So the awesome thing is the two hot, it doesn't matter which ones they are. Now, now typically in the electrical world, it is good to be consistent. So keep the ground green and keep that consistent forever, always. And then the two hots, it doesn't matter which prong it goes to because both are carrying 110 volt. In a normal 110 outlet, you've got the smaller one that is gonna be carrying your black wire or hot wire, whatever you wanna call it. And the bigger one is your white or neutral. I'm just gonna keep it and wire it up that way, just in the event that I wanna do an adapter and put in a 110 plug. That way then I know the hot is the smaller one and the white is the larger. Now, if you do have a situation where you have one of the four prongs, just know you're gonna need to pick up a cable with four wires. Two are gonna be hot, then you got one neutral and one ground. By doing this does not make you a certified electrician. So showing you this, I will not be responsible for any fire or injuries that may have caused during the installation. I'm just gonna end on why I absolutely love this style plug and it's because it's got these little handles. So most of them, you kinda have to grab around the entire plug to pull out and or like this one was just one of the smaller heads. And these ones are just super easy to pull apart with the handles. 